going on y'all welcome back to the simple life today i'm going to be showing you guys how i go about smoking a turkey we're actually going to be smoking a whole turkey this time instead of just a turkey breast but the principle behind it is pretty much the same first we're going to go ahead and start off brining it and um, we'll go ahead and throw it in the smoker and i'll go step by step and show you the process now what we got here is a young turkey i just got it in one of my coolers right now don't worry it's been cleaned out and washed and all that good stuff uh, we're going to go ahead and brine this thing in here and I'll show you guys how to make that brine really quick. Now the brine for this is very easy to make. All you need is a gallon of apple juice, two cups of kosher salt, and some ice and you're ready to go. Now you can see the turkey's not covered so I am going to put some water in this to get this thing covered. And then I'm going to throw my ice cubes in there and we'll just let this thing sit. Now you're going to want to let this turkey brine for at least 24 to 48 hours. And you're going to be pulling it out of the brine the day before you plan to smoke it because we're going to inject it next. And I'll show you guys that step once this uh, brine is done. Alright you guys, it's been about 48 hours and right now I'm uh, dumping the brine out of this thing. I've been keeping ice on it off and on and... Um, now, once we get rid of this brine, we're going to go ahead and take it inside, let it dry a little bit. We're going to inject it and throw it in the refrigerator. All right, you guys, we got our turkey out of the uh, brine here. Uh, first thing we're going to do is inject it. I'm going to be injecting it with this Tony Shashere's injectable butter. Mm -hmm. You can make something similar to this on your own just by melting butter and uh, uh, putting whatever seasonings you prefer in there. But since we had this, I'm going to go ahead and use it. So uh, let me go ahead and get this thing open and we'll go ahead and get it injected. Alright, let's go ahead and give it a quick shake here. Get all the seasonings like mixed all up in the bottle. Where? Inside the bottle. Inside of there? Oh, see. Can I do this squirting? I'll do some of it and then you can do some of it. You're uh, mainly trying to go for, you know, like nice meaty areas like the breast and the thighs. Oh, and you can actually kind of see it plump up a little bit as you put the injection in it. Alright you guys, now that we got it injected, last step is to throw the seasonings on it. Just hitting it with a little bit of uh, garlic salt. Garlic salt? How's that? How's that? A little huh? bit of pepper. A little bit of pepper. Now you're making a mess right here. Yeah, we'll clean that up later. Thanks. And then... The uh, Tony Chassere's Creole seasoning. I believe this is the same seasoning that's in the injection. Uh, so I wanted to go ahead and put some of this on the outside as well. Um, doesn't have a lot of kick to it, but you can definitely tell it is a Creole descent, if you know what I mean. <coughs> Alright, now this is going to go into the fridge until it's ready to be smoked tomorrow morning. Another thing I love about throwing my turkey in a refrigerator after I inject it is one, it's going to keep it fresh until tomorrow morning, and two, 
that Creole butter is going to solidify inside that turkey and uh, kind of sort of stay in place. And when I throw it on the smoker, it's going to slowly melt and like get all through the rest of the meat. So it's going to be a one juicy turkey. You guys will see. Good morning and Merry Christmas. It is about that time to go ahead and get that bird smoked. Right now, I'm just trying to get the uh, smoker up to uh, temperature. Looks like we're there where I want to start at anyway. I'm going to start at 300, then I'm going to back it down to 250. Right now, I got some apple wood and cherry wood in the uh, smoke box. And I also got some of the same wood soaking in a bucket because that's what's going to give us our smoke. And um, I got a uh, chimney starter down there. reason I have that is uh, when it gets too hot, I'll pull out wood and put it in the chimney starter to keep it lit. So when the temperature does go back down, I can put that same piece of wood back in there and get the temperature back up. But let me go ahead and get the bird, and we'll go ahead and throw this thing on the smoker. I believe we're ready now, and we're going to go ahead and get us a smoked turkey. All right, now we got smoke pouring out of this thing like we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the turkey in. I'm gonna put it as far away from the flame as possible so it doesn't get black too quick. Now that we got this turkey going, the key thing is to never lift this lid up, uh, especially for at least for the first four hours. I think this is a close to a 20 pound turkey. It's gonna take about a half hour-ish uh, per pound to get this thing done. So I'm definitely not gonna even open this lid for like another four hours but I'm gonna check on it every 15 minutes just to make sure the temperature isn't doing anything weird. But, you know, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing going. It's gonna be delicious. I can't wait for it to get done. All right, you guys, turkey check. It's been about an hour or so. My temperature's dropped below 300. I'm trying to keep it as close to 300 as possible. So I need to go ahead and add some more wood to this thing. And what I normally do, is I'll take two pieces of wet and maybe two or three pieces of dry and throw it in there. The dry should catch fire fairly quick and then the uh, wet is going to give you the smoke. And also what I did you guys was I saved the turkey neck. I'm going to throw that on here a little bit later and smoke that because you can use that in like your cabbage and collard greens and stuff like that. Um, you don't have to go out and buy like smoked turkey necks or jaws or anything like that. Just use what you got. Alright you guys, I'm doing a temperature check on the turkey. Right now we're at 115 degrees. I'm trying to get it up to 170, so we're not quite there yet. So I'm going to go ahead and shut the lid back on this thing and let it cook for a couple more hours. Alright, we're getting pretty close. I just want to do another temperature check. See where we are. I also went ahead and threw the turkey neck on here as well. That way, next time I cook collard greens or something, it'll be ready. All right, so we're still 147 in the breast part. Well, 149. We're still climbing. Let's try uh, check a different spot here. Hold on. I'm good. Yeah. So 149. Still got 20 more degrees to go. All right, so I got my nice juicy smoked turkey right here. Go ahead and take this bad boy off here. take the turkey neck off there too for the greens the next time I do them. All right, let's go inside and slice this bad boy up. Well, you guys, there you have it. That's how I go about smoking a turkey. If you want to smoke your own turkey and you have a few questions, leave me a comment down there in the comment section, or you can shoot me a private message on one of my social media accounts. I'll actually have that right here at the bottom right hand corner of the screen for you. Also, go ahead and like those as well. That way you can keep up to date with what's going on as well. And also, if you like this video, make sure you smash that like button as well. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that little notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. But that's all I got for you guys. So no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, make sure you live life every day the simple way. Oh, oh, oh.